<laughs> Let's look at everything else other than whether we plugged it in. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> well, that just about sums it up for the day. <laughs> Why is the machine not working? <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. Faraday would suggest possibly electricity is going to help. Good morning! Now that we've uh, well, solved that one, really. We are clearly problem solving. And how are you? I think that you're having a quite an easy morning than us. Uh, so, Jane, this morning. These are actually just an entire team of These are the next to the We haven't been exploding yet. So we ask you if you might be interested in the way the internet is static. There is static planes that you might be interested in. What's going on? That's got batteries. That's got batteries. Are you turned on? Am I turned on? Jane, did you turn your mic on? Okay, good. <laughs> Everything needs turning on, Jane. <laughs> Everything needs turning on. <laughs> Just go and come back in and start again. <laughs> That's it, I'm on now. That should be a stop I was talking away to Josh as well this morning. He never said, I can't hear you, Jane. Probably because he couldn't hear me. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, good morning again. Um, so, yes, Odile's velvets have come in. Um, I think the expression is beyond gorgeous. Have we got any paper scissors over there in my trolley? I don't know if they've, if they've, um, if they've gone to... Uh, they say paper. Paper. Nice. Should we get one of these out and have a quick, you know, mooch around it? And then we'll get on with the show, shall we? Yeah, let's. Oh! It's just really sumptuous. It's one of those things that I think until... <laughs> until we'd... Because we've had the velvet borders, haven't, haven't we? Yes. I mean, you know, new studio wrecked in minutes, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're not easily and They're well packaged. God, haven't they just? Haven't they just? Look at that. Oh, it's like Christmas every day here. Look at this. So, yeah. there we go. Should we, should we take the rest out before yeah, we um, move it? Before, before we just wreck the, the studio. whole studio. There we go. Oh. Have you seen the giraffe with the bow on there, Jane? It's amazing. There's okay. just attention to detail is exquisite, I think. Absolutely. So these are beautiful long bolts for a start off. And these will be on next week. So it really is a sneak peek for next week. But what wouldn't you want to do Look at that. with that? I've got the power. Ooh, I know, look at that. I mean, come on. Look at that. Is that not just rather exquisite? And velvet, I mean, it feels so gorgeous. Absolutely. And there we go. I mean, yeah. That is beautiful. It's very it's really gorgeous. The colour is so intense as well. This is all made in France, did you know? I didn't know it was made in France as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all made and printed. I mean, it's like it's French through and through. Stunning. There you go. And a bit of wrap in there as well. Let's do something clever with that. Um, so, 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 that's what's coming up next week, just to give you a sneak peek. Today, what we've got is panels galore. Jane um, and I had a conversation about this the other day, didn't we? Mm. We've been asked so many times what to do with a panel. When you get a panel, what do you do it's, with it? It, yeah, yeah. it's almost like there's too much choice sometimes for people. So 
you've you've written the panel 101 yes I've of. done a very simple panel quilt with a simple border I'm going to talk to you about other options you can do with them and then I'm going to show you how to put um, a panel together just a panel yeah and how you would uh, this the several ways of finishing it so we're going beautiful. to talk about that. beautiful and beautiful a bit about quilting and a bit about all of that paraphernalia yes that goes with such goodies we will come to as we as we get there but things like your thread magic if you're hand quilting and all that kind of stuff yeah all the you'll show them won't yes. you, as you get there yeah. yeah we'll do that let's have a quick hello to everyone shall we we have got oh gosh 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 lots and lots and lots uh morning jess morning Probably bridget morning people Rona. going what's going on there's noise <laughs> there's noise <laughs> They've wrecked stuff. Morning, Laurie. Morning, Claire. Uh, morning, Lizzie. Morning, Anna. Um, morning, Rona. Yeah, we're all there. Uh, Pam says, yeah, you're fixed. Well, I mean, the sound is. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think, yeah. I think as far as we can go there. Um, all sorted. Are you turned on? Um, <laughs> what with all that gorgeous fabric, says Marjorie. Well, I mean, yeah. yes. <laughs> she is now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> morning, morning, morning. There we go. Uh, Sacre bleu, très joli, says uh -huh. Claire. Yeah, um, I need you tomorrow, Claire, when I have my, my Zoom call with them to discuss all their next fabrics Ooh, that they've got coming up. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically got an interpreter because my French is... Uh -uh. Um, Mine's not good either. Fiona just says, morning all, the joy of opening things together. We'd like to give you an out-of-box experience. <laughs> Or out of plastic bag, more plastic, and a bit we of were, sellotape. We were on. quite calm actually, because normally when we open stuff, the noises are quite it's like something out of when Harry met Sally. There's squealing. <laughs> yes, there is squealing. Often. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, Kath just says, "Ooh, like that." Yeah, yeah. It, it is gorgeous. Um, Fiona says you can hear the quality. Lisa Chandler would love that. Do you know what? I am pushing for them to take Lisa's fabrics on to do the border velvets. Oh, Could yeah. you? I mean, it's um, yeah. Absolutely. They're really busy at the moment. Mm. That would be stunning, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Oh, morning, Glenn. Um, and morning, Karen, as well. There we go. Are those the supple velvet primary for dress making or the firm velvets for upholstery and bag making? Um, I can't remember which ones I ordered now, to be honest. They look did like I, I don't think that... Mm, I wouldn't I think they would be suited. I think they're more bag making and upholstery. They seem quite firm. I can't remember no. if I ordered a mixture of both. Um, they have literally just come in. They've taken a little while. Um, Alison said, morning, Natasha, Jane and everyone. That Odile fabric is just wow. Yes, it is. It is yes, a bit gorgeous. Is, is. Um, June says, morning, gorgeous here today. That's Eastbourne. So we've got, because, um, you know, we like to know, don't we? We do. Kirsty normally tells me how my in-laws are getting on um, in terms of weather. Yeah. And June, I know then that my mum and dad, that they're okay and my my, uh, my nanny moon grad i didn't send happy birthday to nanny on monday and i should have done happy birthday nanny moon sorry sorry bad it was a big yeah. one too oh gosh i know i know uh half, half me, me to, to heaven behind you it's behind you so we have had a bit of a bit of a couple of days it would be fair to say would it not jane yes yes we have and um so we knew we were going to have to pull something out the bag for Half Me to Heavens this week, yeah. didn't we? Yes, absolutely. And I think you've achieved that. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Oh, actually, do you know what? I'll take all of them because they're yeah, really <laughs> gorgeous. Lovely. I'm going to flip them this way and start from where I started this morning. Okay, so this is a little walk down my morning with you. Here we go. There's my hand. Okay, now, we know that we love a mode of grunge. Absolutely. Yeah. But did we also know that what we really, truly, truly love is a Clothworks fabric. Change that is so stunning. I saw this fabric Clothwork. come in and I was like, oh, that's really oh, nice. oh, 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 oh. Um, I love the colours and I love, it's got like a textured effect to it. So, when you look at it, I had to stroke it because it looked like needle cord. I, it I, when it, it does came have in, textures, doesn't it? Yeah. I was like, is that needle cord? And they were like, no, it's just cotton. But the printing on it is beautiful. And it really, to me, it looked like needle cord. But, and, but then it also looks like it's been penciled on. It's, it's just so stunning. 
just so stunning. So because you've got that textured background, we went with texture here. I say we, I rummaged and found what I loved. And this was it. So we've got four in this collection. Yeah. So here's my thinking. It's scary, isn't it? The inner workings of my brain. Let's keep then with the mode of grunge. Yeah. Yeah. But just look at what it's going with. Is that not also absolutely gorgeous? See how it just the picks line out just pulls all of these. All of that together, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. And this also needed a press. But, but, but I again, what a beautiful, beautiful fabric. Yeah. And it all goes. Together you can you it's can the same mix it through exactly same collection. That. So then, Jane. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, I've only got three of these or four of these. Three of these. That's all I had left of that. That's called sea foam. That's a nice name. It's very beautiful. So it's this one in black. With that. Nice. Mm. So you can see how it's all starting to come together. And because I only had three of those, do you know what then had to happen? Bit of plain. Bit of plain. So this is a normal half metre heaven. Uh, and to be fair, because these are... Um, because these are digitally printed, I should charge more for these anyway. But we'll gloss over that for now. Um, I wanted to pull these lighter colours through. Yeah. And is that and that works beautiful? really well with the grey tones in there, doesn't it? Yeah, but again, you can pull that through, all of them. Yeah. So whichever ones you're going with, just know it's going to be an absolute treat for a start. It's a gorgeous collection of fabrics. It's really stunning. We haven't had any cloth works before. Haven't you? No, I don't think so. I was racking my brains to think what we could possibly have had before that was cloth works. And I couldn't think of anything that we'd had. And we've had a lot of fabric. Yes. It would be fair to say, a lot of fabric. So then I had a conundrum, Jane, mm -hmm. a proper conundrum. And this is what I came up with. So this is the floral one. That is so pretty. They're all like little types of daisies on there. It's so lovely. Yeah, yeah. But which colour to do it with? So I've done my usual where I've gone 50-50. And it does, you can act, ooh, that's interesting actually because when you put that near there, that. Again, it pulls the greys through. Doesn't it? Yeah. Slate grey is beautiful for that though. Blue, rather, state blue. So, yeah, that is where I went with all of those. You're welcome. That is lovely. <laughs> I know, right? I know. At, at stupid, stupid, stupid half me to heaven prices. <coughs> right. So, if we're sticking with designers who like to um, do digital printing, Tim Holtz has got to be king, right? Absolutely. Keep forgetting the cameras around the other way. Yeah. I mean, if you're making any kind of boxes or anything for your sewing room or anything like that. It's lovely. It's just great fun. If you've got a teenage son going off to uni, you could make him a lovely little quilt or a, or a laptop case or something with that, couldn't you? It's lovely. Yeah. And this is the thing about Tim Holtz, isn't it? It's, or a it's teenage daughter. Really unisex. Florally. And um, by the way, if you get this piece, like we didn't we didn't that's how it came off the bolt yeah we we're not do responsible that. for that <laughs> but i also didn't cut it off because it gives you a little bit extra yes so don't commit you've got extra on here it's not our bag cutting it's ec extra now jane tim holtz again and two options again so you've got your numbers but as we were doing this and we ran out of black yeah. which is on order should be here any day but we don't mm. like to do that you did point out that we did have a smidge of Le Bally slipper. Yes. And it's only... It's just I noticed the numbers have got a very slight pinky tinge to they them. They really have. I don't know if you can see that. Should we see? Hang on. Ooh, look at that. Amazing. Yeah, what I haven't quite got, though, the knack of in our new studio, is um, quite where to place it. But that... 
I don't know if you can see, just pulls. And there's grey tones in the ballet slipper which just pull it through. So it would have been rude not to is effectively what we're saying. Yeah. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Do you know what I'm also going to put on there for you to see as we're here? Just going to sneak that in. <laughs> um, is this not? Oh, well, this is one of my favourite fabrics of all time. I think that's such a versatile fabric. There's so much colours, or so many colours, I should say, in there that you could do so much with it. I've made bags, Lisa Chandler bags, with the, with the gorgeous things out of Tim Holtz fabric. Yeah. When I say gorgeous things, I mean handles. Just for those that are going, what is she talking about? <laughs> Fill in the gaps. You see, it's okay here because I'm surrounded by people that have known me for far too many years and generally you can indeed just fill yeah, in the blanks Yeah, we just finish, our finish your sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fabulous. And um, I think I, <laughs> I said that to Gemma once and she thought that it was a criticism and I'm just like, no, 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 it's great. It means I don't have to, you know, work as hard because <laughs> you already know what I'm saying. It's great. Um, and again, we couldn't choose, could we? No. So we went both work equally well, both really fire up the gold colour within they it. They do. Sangria and peacock. Um, I've used this a lot with cork, so if you've got any of your cork left over as well, absolutely yeah, stunning with that. This also looks really nice with um, PU, just saying. Now, now, now. Um, Jane. But do also always have a little rummage around as well because you'll be amazed what you find. Yeah, there's all sorts of things going on in the half metre heavens. Now, Grandi Floral, Philip Jacobs. This is a colour we've not had before. And uh, <coughs> this wasn't a hard one, was it? No. We all just stood there and went, went lime. lime. <laughs> <laughs> I think we threw in a cursory raspberry just, yeah, to, we just to double it, check. Just to check. Um, but no, possibly even a blush. But no, we, it, it had to be lime. I love Philip Jacobs. This is for, so K Facet Collective. So obviously Cave's done the colour work, but it's Philip Jacobs design, um, and it's just stunning. And everybody should have it in their life. Absolutely, fact, Jane. Yeah. Fact. And then we only offered this by itself and in a bundle. When this, so this is brand new Cave. Yeah. I really like and this. Again, this is the one that we can't really say. We like Cloisonne. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Close, close, yeah. Um, anyway, that and um, <laughs> what we discovered because again, this is going to be one that's difficult for you to pick a fabric with plain wise to go with it. So we went with the tip and we went with that. I think that's Azalea. It is. So this is a Philip Jacobs again, harking back to his love of all things Japanese, isn't yeah. it? It's like an enamel box, <coughs> you know, yes. there's a flea enamel in that you can exactly that. Um, so that's what we have for you this week on we've only got six of those um on your half meter heavens Ta -da. well they do yeah yeah yes i think there's some lovely choices there do you know there really are and um i'm going to get out of the way so that you can show all of the bundles that you've put together yeah. for today's show because there's uh, there's a lot um you all know, your mum's watching get an idea of how my brain works which <laughs> confuse you completely well it's all good <laughs> it's all good yeah Right, um, I'm going to go over there and take this, get out your way, so you can floof some fabric around, floof my love. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Oh, well, now I'm stuck, aren't I? You've got to limbo under the camera. <laughs> we'll just do that. I will, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. So we had a few panels in, didn't we? Sort of in quick succession. Yeah, they did. I don't know why that it just, it just, it just happens just that way how sometimes. It goes. Yes. Um, the one that I've done the quilt with, because I don't know about you, but I love a collection of fabric. And when you get a panel, then you get the whole collection of the fabrics <laughs> that go with it. I get quite excited. You did. It takes some of the um, thinking out of the, the process because you just know that all the colours and all the fabrics are going to blend and go with. And this collection is just really cute. Really cute. This is called Safari Sunrise? Let's say yes. 
Yeah, and it's by <laughs> Studio E. <laughs> and the panel is a 30, is a 30, yeah, 30 inch wide panel. So the panel on its own would be perfect to make a small um, tummy time quilt, they call it now, don't they? They do, tummy it's tummy time. time. Tummy time. Look at this. You've got the crocodile with a little bird, the lion, the zebra, the giraffe. You um, squealed when this came in, didn't you? And the elephant, and I'm, I'm saying he's a leopard. He's definitely a leopard with his spots. Oh, yeah, well, they never change, do they? Yeah. A little sunshine in the corner with the rainbows. And so the collection has got um, all of these sort of characters um, within it. So I've put, for the, for the quilt, I have put a bundle together to make, we've, we're selling the panel separately, but then we're selling two bundles that make the border and the binding. Nice. Um, so you've got your border fabric, which is the spots which replicate the sunshine in the top of the panel. Yes, they do. So that's the border fabric. There's three quarters of a metre of that. And then we've got the binding fabric, which is the stripe, which is the same stripe that's in here on the panel. You've got that there. Oh, thank you. There we go. And then the blue bundle, which is the quilt behind me. Um, we've got five fabrics. We've got the lovely all over with the spots and the faces. So it's got all the faces of all the animals that are in the panel. And we've got the giraffes on green and it's a lovely sort of like limey but almost yellow. It's like a, what's, what's it called? It's chartreuse. Chartreuse green. And we've got the zebras and they're on a lovely pale blue. And we've got the leopards, and they're on a grey background, which, of course, we at the moment, for babies, greys and, and lemons are all the rage, aren't they? Yeah, I think Quite. this is just such beautiful tones, pastel tones, that and it, then, it doesn't matter. No, I think it's quite a neutral tone, and even yeah. the blue tone, this is the crocodiles, and this is the one that I've said makes it blue. But it's even, he's, got, he's got pink, there's pink crocodiles in there. I mean, everyone needs a pink crocodile in their Who life. Who doesn't? There are so many babies being born at the moment. I just see there just yeah, seems I'd to be everybody I talk to yeah. seems to have babies come in, you know, some somewhere along the line, which I think is the result of lockdown. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> what else are you going to do? <laughs> exactly. So that's the blue fat quarter bundle. So the fat quarter bundle with the border fabric and the binding fabric, the panel is separate because I know there may be some of you that just want to have the panel and don't necessarily want to make make the quilt bigger. Uh, uh, you know, Gemma and I were discussing this. I mean, her first quilt was with a faux, with a faux fabric, yeah, a faux quilted fabric. But this is also a great place to start your quilting journey, or if you just it need is. one quickly, because <laughs> yeah, you know. And if you like making quilts um, to donate to Linus Project or siblings together, having a pre-printed panel is saves time, yeah, and is a more economical way of doing it. Of course, which means that you can then support more charities, which yeah. is even better, isn't it? Absolutely. What else have you got, Jane? Well, this is the pink bundle, and basically the fab four of the fabrics are exactly the same. So we've got the faces beautiful, on the spots. We've got the beautiful giraffe. Oh, I love the giraffe. We've got the leopards on the grey. Nice. And we've got the zebras. And then this, I think, because I'm a big fan of elephants, and I rather like pink. So I'm rather in love with this fabric. And this is pink elephants. Pink ah, elephants on parade. That's quite hard to see. Can you hold that up by the sewing machine for me? Yes. It's a beautiful soft pink, an overall pattern oh. with lots of elephants. Gorgeous. And I'm not tall enough to do the zooming in because I can't reach the camera like what Natasha can. Like what <laughs> I can. Yeah. But yeah, it's really sweet. And it's a lovely shaped elephant. It's really like cuddly, cuddly it's elephant. Lovely. I love... I love the illustrations in this fabric range. So that's the pink bundle. So you can, if you, you know, some of us may know what flavour baby we're, we're going to receive. So if you want to make Have it more, more emphasis on a something. More emphasis on a girly colour, possibly. 
Although we all know that pink used to be the colour for boys. Well, yeah, it did. Back in the Victorian era. Yeah. Do, do you know, I think the thing with this is that it's it's equally toned out in yes. tone in terms of you could have it for boys and girls. But also There is there is not much difference. I you think. never know, do you, what flavour might come along later. Yes, exactly. Um and it then it just means it can very continue to be used. I think it's quite gender neutral really, even yeah. if you chose to go with the pink elephants in your bundle rather than the blue crocodiles, I think. Um so we've got some bundles, pre cut bundles, but I think we've also got it by the half metre Whatever was left. Whatever's left over. Is so, that by the half metre. So um, rummage basically is what we're saying. You know, we've got all of these fabrics. Yes. I don't think if well, it'll depend on if we sell all the kits whether we'll have any of the sunshine spots, but the rest of them definitely by the half metre. We do love those. I've just had a lovely message from Valerie. He says, good morning, ladies. So much consciousness to start the sewing day. And just what I need this morning after nearly having my wrist dislocated by a lurcher's squirrel lunge. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. And said lurcher pulling free. However, I now know, or think that I do, that he's better trained than I thought as he stopped and waited when I shouted at him. Oh, Phew. bless his heart. And just want to say thank you and your team for sorting me out with some extra K fabric yesterday. I mean... If we can, job, we do. Yeah. yeah, if we can, we uh, do. You all always go the extra mile for us, and I know everyone appreciates it as much as I do. Well, that's a lovely message. Thank you so, so much. We also have two more fabrics within that range. Oh, now, yes. I've used on the back of this... Oh, hang on. Yep. The, over, the all over animals design. That one. This one here. This that one. one. Um, just because I liked it. And good. <laughs> <laughs> but we've also got this lovely rainbow as well, which is gorgeous. And that mirrors the rainbow on the front of the panel. So um, one and a half metres is what you'll need to back it with. So one and a half metres, three For the, units. If you want to do this quilt that's behind me. Yeah, so three units. And it is ridiculously cute. And it's just lovely. And it's got just a little hint of colour, just a subtle hint of colour in, yeah. in all of the animals, but mostly black and grey, uh, white and grey rather. So, yeah, I just think that is really lovely fabric. And the, the um, rainbows are beautiful too. Slightly more colourful, but again in the same tones as it as the collection. So lovely, I, um, soft, subtle colours. Here we go. Look, I think I can do this from this side as well. Can I? Can I? Can I? Would that do it? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Right in. The. That's it. Beautiful. Lovely subtle tones in there. Me and my head. <laughs> There you go, that's not going to work. Is it? There we that's are. It, that's lovely. There you go. Yeah. There we go. We're still playing with all of this. All of our studio yeah. is still so new, well, seeing what we can get away with, what we can't week, do. New week, isn't it? New week, new studio. <coughs> Doing it from behind the camera obviously is not going to work. Then we'll have to work out another way. Yeah. Um, we've got this really lovely, bright, jolly. Oh, I love this Th one. I just think this is such fun. <laughs> I love Noah's Ark. I love the story of Noah's Ark. I love the illustrations in this and I love the brightness of it. Every child at some point will have a Noah's Ark in some shape, form or description. Absolutely. Um, this is such fun. And you can play I Spy with this, searching for the animals. You've got fishes in the water and a duck in there with a shark. You've got monkeys, is, ti lions, tigers, you panda. Can just, you could just, um, you could just put some fleece backing on the back of this stitch Absolutely. around bag it through and you're done if you don't exactly. want to do binding or anything like that and then just yeah. a little bit of hand quilting on there if you wanted and you would be absolutely sorted and that would be a beautiful gift for anyone when i showed this to inga yeah we were reminiscing about the little program that used to be on five minute program just before the news after the children's television channel on bbc and there used to be a program called noah and nelly Oh. And it reminded me so much. And there'll be, there'll be people out there that remember Noah and Ellie. The illustrations remind me so much of that programme. Well, that's And gorgeous. the beautiful bright colours. So with that in mind, I've put a little rainbow bundle together. Of course you did. Fat quarter bundle. Purely based on the colours within this panel. So we've got lavender, 
marine. If I move that up, no, down. Oh, it's all back That's to front, Jen. Yes. I don't down. understand. Lime. Sunshine. Orange. And red. Nice. So that's a little bundle I've put together because I just feel those colours really pick up the tones in, in that quilt. They're fat quarters um, um, and obviously we sell this by the half metre as well. So you could do just strips of the colours making a border, you could make squares and piece it. If you've got some backing background fabric and I think it would, controversially, I was thinking, oh I'd do it white. And then I thought, actually no, I think I might do the border black to really pop the mm, colours because there is a thinking isn't there the black tone against colour particularly white is really good for for new babies it oh yeah, really yeah helps them contrast yeah contrast I used to we had um a raw iron bed when Freddie was born and I used to think that he was gazing at me he wasn't he was just looking at the the, raw side the black and the yeah. white against the white wall the black uh, raw iron against the white wall yeah. it took me a while to figure that he wasn't looking at me at all yeah so you could, so I haven't, the six fat quarters, you'd, you'd be able to make a version of this pattern. Um, you'd just put, because I've used five, one, two, three, four, five, you could just add another square on. Push good, push good. Or you could make it all squares. This, this is, is the like beauty Captain of this pattern. pattern. It's, yeah. Can just you name them all? Yeah, Captain Pugwash. <laughs> <coughs> but you can, no, sorry I yeah. interrupted, but yeah, you could absolutely... So, in an extra. you know, if you just wanted to do a rainbow border, you'd need half metre pieces so that you've got the, the length. Um, but the fat quarter, you can make squares or other patterns, little stars, whatever, to go around the edge. Nice. Should you wish. And that, is a, that is a um, 30 metre, 30 metre? No, it's not. It's a no. 30 inch yes. wide. Yes. They're all width of fabric. Which is 44 inches for those yeah. that are going, what's that? Um, and they're all these, the, the Safari Sunrise and Noah's Story, this is called, um, panels are 30 inches wide. I just love that. And do you know what? Even if you're just going to do the quilt like that, you might want to get the rainbows so that you can make accompanying toys or, yeah, or anything or bag or cushion or, or, cushion or bag to put like it in that. or anything Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Elizabeth says, fishes in the water, fishes in the sea, we all jump up with a one, two, three. I never ever heard that before, and Myra's just gone. Thanks, Elizabeth, for putting that in my head. That's that the other verse to Ring a Ring of Roses. That's what we used to sing after we'd done Ring a Ring of Roses, a pocket full of poses. Oh no, we stopped there. A tissue, a tissue. Well, we'd all, we'd all fallen fall down. down. Fishes in the water, fishes in the sea. We all jump up with a one, two, three. No, never. That was used to be that so that you weren't all still. No, we lying just used down. to grovel around on the floor for a bit. Now, a while ago, you <laughs> made you made. The hungry caterpillar quilt, didn't you? Oh well, we say quilt. Uh, look, Jane, we're it not going. We're not going to do a close up on this because I, I have a feeling it's got picnic stains on it because it's been well used this summer. Doesn't matter. It's loved. I. We still have some of these panels left. Oh, there we go. Let's just. There we are. Yeah, we are. Classic, isn't he? Yeah. He's absolutely classic. We no longer have any of this star fabric but we do have rainbows but we have the two rainbow fabrics i'm just going to get these off because that was the one thing i forgot to do was cut a half meter piece of each of those and you can have a dark rainbow or a light rainbow it's called day and night isn't it the light move this over this way that's it i'm getting the hang of it this is the day one with the white between the stripes and then this is the night with the dark between the stripes now i also think that this one would go rather well. Well, they both would actually. Well, yeah. But because it's got the black in it, I think he'd look rather nice with Noah's story. You could put that. Oh, you could bind it in that. Absolutely. Ooh. Oh, look. Yes. So this is how I love that our fabrics like interchange because this yeah. is part of the Hungry Caterpillar collection yeah. fabric. Yeah. From a different manufacturer. It's got a naive... Um, but it works really well with that panel. Like colouring crayon effect yes, to it. Yes, it looks like it's been coloured in, yeah. doesn't it? And these lines look like they've been done on wet paper and they've bled slightly, which gives a lovely effect, which goes with the illustrations, doesn't it, of um, the gentleman that made it, the Hungry Caterpillar. So again, we've got those two panels. We've got the white one, 
and we've got the dark blue one. Oh, for the hungry caterpillar. For the hungry caterpillar. I really like the dark one. I love the dark blue. I think it's really quite, quite dramatic striking. and striking. And I might not be saying, please don't look too closely. There might be food stains visible if I'd gone for the dark one. <laughs> the thing is, you make them because you want them to be used. Yeah. So they're going to get marks on them. I know, but curry night was possibly a stretch too far. Maybe. Maybe. But we do like a picnic curry in our house. So in front of a movie on a Friday night. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong in that. We've still got some of the Aboriginal dot, the Cape <coughs> Aboriginal dot <coughs> rainbow that oh, you yeah, put together have. to go when you made. Did we do that as, as strips? You sewed them together, didn't you? And then recut them. Yeah, you but how do we sell them? Do we sell them in a strip of, in a ten inch strip? They're long. Yeah, they're long quarter oh. strips. Oh, yeah. Well done, me. Bundle of long quarters. So that's a lovely rainbow. And again, that would go nicely with you know a you know a story panel too. They really would. Yeah. No, I, I I did that. I'd forgotten about that. We just had those in, and I was like, um, well, there's two classics. Yeah. Kate and Eric. Is it Carl? 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 I don't want to say Carlisle, but that's now all I've got in my head. Yes, and it's once it's you say it, you can't get it out of your head, can you? Eric, Carl. It is Eric Carl. Carl. Yeah. But I always want to make it Carlisle. Yes. I don't know why. I feel like it's not a big enough name <laughs> for a man that is so well known. So yeah, we've still got some of the hungry caterpillars. Not many, so you know, don't hang around with those because there's only a few of those left. Um, but this beautiful rainbow fabric as well, which we're selling by the half metre. Um, Karen says, can I just ask, you know the blue-black batik that came with the autumn wall hanging, is that batik available on its own? Is that the background? Yes. Black. Yeah, we've got some we've of that, We've got some we? of that, yeah. And if not, we can certainly get you some in. Um, question then to everyone, yes. would you like us to have batiks as our as a core range that you can always get from us yes please okay well yeah jane not just you though because <laughs> like you 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 go for it I anyway don't count. <laughs> um <laughs> i did that with the boys said my red curry mat out on a friday night cozy up for a film it's perfect it's lovely and it's a lovely idea and you've you've backed yours with the ripstock fabric which makes it perfect for going outdoors with yeah we do that too yeah yeah, yeah, we did that through lockdown. We took, we just used to bundle that yeah. up and take it with us, which um, is a brilliant idea. And take so it to that's the park. another another thing that you can use on the back of your quilt quilt panels. Um, bit of waterproof, you know, because we know what babies do, you know, changing time and stuff like that. So that's always handy to do. Um, Makes like a changing mat. Um, I didn't even, I didn't even press that or anything. It literally just came out of the. Uh, out of the kitchen. Yeah. It was no, it one of the boxes it's in the kitchen. Been, it's a used and loved right, quilt, and this is what we like to see. We like to see them being used. Karen says, ooh, yes, get the batiks. Uh, well, it's just a matter of loading them, Karen. I'm not going to lie. They're all here. We've That's been using them for all of the... Colours, yeah, we've been, we've, we we've been using them. <laughs> we, we thought now we like might like share. Lo says, ooh, batik. Thought you were going to offer cake. Um, we haven't had cake. We've got big box of biscuits. Yes, well not so big anymore <laughs> there's not much left in there. i know do you know what Gemma's mum's not it very well it was fatal it was part it was as you walk towards the lower end of the warehouse so every time you went down there for something well jane it's your fault it's anyway jane messaged me before the show yesterday saying Gemma's mum's not very well she's a little bit upset don't bring come chocolate. without chocolate please so. bring chocolate <laughs> Gemma's so I did, upset. and um, but I well, think we're sending our love to Ed. We are sending our love to Ed. I don't know if she's allowed to watch in hospital, but we are sending her love. We, well, we sent her love on Facebook yesterday. Yes, we did. As you know, now, that's about as close as you can get. Because we we've today? been, this is a bit of a rummaging through the warehouse, isn't it? And we've found some other things that we <coughs> we love. We found. Oh, the this on an overhead. That drama llama, not a drama llama. Um, it's I a lovable, lovable, huggable book, and we did make a sample book. I can't find it. So this I is a book exactly panel. Where it is. Um, it's in the playroom. I'm a llama's mama. Sorry about that. You have to say thing. it with an American accent. I'm a llama's mama. Emily mama, loves mama. this book. It's gorgeous. Which is why we don't have the sample here. So All the instructions are on the panel for you to complete it. It's really straightforward to do. This is a lovely project and you could do this with a young person that's learning to sew because you make basically three mini quilts, bag them through, and you then sew them together down the middle. All the numbers are on the pages. It tells you exactly how to construct it. 
it's a really lovely little project to do. If you've got a work colleague that's, you know, having a baby shower or a friend, a neighbour that you don't know particularly well, but you know they're having a shower, this would make a, a baby, this would make them have a lovely gift. Yeah, you baby know, showers nice are all the rage. Did quick you? gift. No, no, no. no they weren't a thing when I... Cause it's another thing that's come from America, isn't yeah. it, really? And when I was pregnant with Freddie, we'd just moved to Cornwall and we only knew my mum and dad um, So uh, in Cornwall, so there was no baby shower for me because I didn't know anyone. No. No, it makes it difficult, doesn't it? Yeah. And then this is the cuddly cat. Oh, now, this, we've got two of these. They are on a mega discount because... Michael Miller fabric. We've only got two left and, and they've just... Yeah, they've just been there a little while. Look at I that. How cute is that? Cat. That is a really straightforward panel to, to construct into a, a quilt. You've got it, it almost looks like it's patched worked already. And it's lovely, pretty. So basically two people will get an absolute steal of a bargain. Yeah. And then there's some fabrics there that have been put together for a bundle. Yeah. That are within the kit. That's yeah. how the kit comes. Yeah. So that's rummage through the warehouse that we found. And then we've had this lovely Macawa panel that is not well i suppose you could use it for a baby but i think it's for an older child that they so could have as a wall hanging or a quilt on their bed again a bit like an i spy freddie would he will love adore this, this one in he fact will. and it's almost one that you could put sticky dots on to show where you've been absolutely absolutely <coughs> look at this <coughs> world map in fact i might make one up for the school because they teach them continents first. Yeah. I mean, with Emily, it's actually incontinent. So <laughs> We're still at the nappy phase. We'll oh, get there. Oh, bless her. <laughs> but they do She's continents and then they do... Con uh, and then they do... And then they sort of work We're it in. We're getting the hang of this. We're getting the hang Look of it that Look at this, way. Jane. Ah, oh, I do love that. That is lovely. And it's got lots of the animals, national costumes, um, you know, different things that the area is probably famous for really go. good for the children and really great for like an again an i spy and working out where is where in the world i think forget the kids lizzie auntie lizzie says uh, john would like that <laughs> that's a world map <laughs> yeah who you doesn't know. kids There's of all even ages a yellow submarine on it look oh is there yes oh we all live in in, in a yellow <laughs> submarine in fact there's two bit of a squeeze yeah oh good job they've put in two then isn't it yeah get more in it's lovely and I think it's lovely, um, really nice. And again, I've put together, because we've had some fabrics that go with from the range. <clears throat> we've got three fabrics that go from the range and I've put, we, ha we had a few bits of spray chime left over from something else. So I've put a bundle together of six fat quarters that I felt the colours went. So you've got like, this is like stamps. Oh, I love this one. You see, I'd be making a, a cushion out of this to go with it. Yeah, you know, you could make a book cushion, couldn't you? One of your yeah. book cushions. Do you want to go close up on that, Jane? Yeah. Because it's quite detailed. There's lots going on in that. There is lots going on in that. You've got London with the London bus and taxi and all the famous landmarks. You've got Alaska with the bear and the moose. Africa's got all the jungle animals. China, Moscow, Australia with the koala. Amsterdam with the windmill, everything's in there to help children, you know, learn about native animals and where things are in the world. So you've got that one, and then we've got two colourways of just overall animals. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's have a close up of an overall animal. Again, lots of different fishes, birds. And that blue background is the same as the the oceans isn't yes, it in yeah. the map in so the, that works map, beautifully so that goes beautifully do you know what and then you we've got it in on a white background you could cut some of these out onto velcro couldn't you yeah and have them so they had to find them and stick, stick them, on. them on absolutely you could have really good fun with it so we've got those three fabrics that go with which we've got in the bundle but we've also got by the half meter and I've, as I say, I found some spray time. This is one of the nice things about moving warehouses. We're suddenly like, oh, look, we've got this. And we've got, got this. That. I can't remember what we got that in for now. So I bought the brown. 
brown spray time. I love spray time because it's like a sponged effect, so it's not a solid. It's got a bit more texture to mm. it, so it gives a little bit more um, Brown movement. and blue, I rather like together. Yeah, and I like blue and orange as well because yes. it's like a turquoisey. So we've got the orange because there's quite a lot of orange with the in yellow there, yeah, and the oranges in there. And then the turquoise because the turquoise is there. So I felt those six would make a nice bundle to go with this panel. And now they would go, Lizzie, what Aunt Lizzie wants to know, um, how many fat quarters to go around the map? Well, I think you would need, if you wanted to make borders around the map, you would need width of fabric. So half meter pieces. But because you could, but you could, could you go around that way? Do them in, you could do them in squares, squares going around. And join, join them together. Absolutely, so it doesn't you have to could, be one long thing. You could adapt this pan panel, this pattern, and just do a border on the top and the bottom with the squares to make it wider but not uh, longer rather than wider because yes. it's the width of fabric but it's only 24 23 inches from width of fabric perfect so you'd probably want to just add borders to the top and bottom to make it longer to yeah. make it deeper rather than make it wider so that's what we've got panels wise Today. Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to briefly <laughs> show you how I put the border together. Lowe's asked if we could just pause for a minute because she just needs to get some food. Okay, <laughs> get me some too, please. Yeah, and me. I think it was all that talk of biscuits. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to talk very briefly about how I constructed this part of the quilt. And then I'm going to go into quilting, how we put them together. Yeah. Because I've... We've done bagging because we did that with the advent calendars. Yes. But I will go over that. This is my, you know, a traditional construction of a quilt. So I'm, I made the top, put the, the backing down, put the wadding on the top, put the quilt top on, pinned it together and then quilted through the three layers and then bound it, trimmed it and bound it. So that's what's on the pattern. So the pattern gives you that. Um, so it's really four and a half inch squares that have been sashed and then added into a border. Um, in the pattern it will tell you how many strips you need. They're one and a half inches wide. Um, because you construct the border, I did um, top and then sides to get it to look like the five fabrics are coming round the corner. So you've got five up the side there and five across there. I could have done it the other way and, and now thinking about it, I don't know why I didn't. I think I was just having a bit of a brain freeze. How do you mean? Because I could have just done the side borders first and then put the top border on along the top. I just like to make things complicated for myself. <laughs> <laughs> and why not? So it's one and a half inch strips of fabric. I just cut one and a half inch wide strip of fabric from this strip. It's funny, isn't it, how you write a pattern and you make it, you make your quilt and it all goes yep. together nicely yep. and it looks stunning. And then I've looked, I've just looked at that and I've thought, well, why didn't I just do it the other way round? And then I wouldn't have had to make it seem so complicated. It doesn't matter. It all works, doesn't it? One of those things. But there'll be other people whose brains work that way. It was a really quick pattern to do. And it wasn't a quick pattern to do. It was a really quick make. <laughs> <laughs> pattern took me long as long as it did to make the quilt um four and a half inch wide because I've made four and a half inch squares you'll need four from each of the colors um four and a half inch wide strips oh Karen's made current buns this morning oh she's happy to share virtually yeah, yeah 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 the virtually there says it all yeah so you will join those together with a sashing strip in between in pairs in the pattern you join so many with them on the one side and then you'll join some together now if it was 
the blue version, it would be the crocodiles. And if it was the pink version, I would say the elephants. But you mm. can choose whichever fabric you have. You just have to decide which fabric is one, two, sure. three. Sure. And keep that, you know, in your mind as to how you're going to have them. Um, so you'll join all of them apart from two of your fabric five with a strip on the one side. And then you join them together in pairs. And then you will join the pairs together. Beautiful. So you get a long strip of basically um, raw fabrics, <coughs> like so. And you will have one at the end with a strip in between of one, that's the side border. Mm. And once you've got those sewn on, you then place um, a one and a half inch strip along that length, mm -hmm. obviously to the same measurement, yeah. top and bottom. And then you'll add a six and a half inch piece onto your border. So where it comes here, you add the six and a half inch piece on there. And the other side has got fabrics two, three and four. So the top and the bottom have got two, three and four on them. Nice. And again, it will have a sashing piece. So that's how you construct that. And then you'll add a piece of your border fabric to the length. So if you've got one of the six fabric bundles, you'll just have an extra square. Yes. So your border piece that you add on at the side here and at the top there will just be smaller. Yes. It'll be... Five and a half inches yeah, small add there because you've got the, that extra square yeah. and sashing piece. So it's easy to convert it. You could add all squares up the side if you wanted to. You wouldn't have to have the extra bits of border. If you wanted to carry on and do a repeat of the squares again, you could do that around. And the thing is, you know, you don't have to sash them. You could just have the squares, squares next to each you know, other. unsashed. I mean, they're, yes. they're beautifully framed and it echoes the frames in there. So I yes. know completely why you've done it. But if yeah. that feels too much for you, just you cut just squares, sew the squares, stick them together. Yeah. Stick them together, sew them together. Yes. Don't get your silly tape out. It's going to yeah. be a mess. No. no. It won't wash well. No. But it's, a, it's, a, it's just to give you an idea of where you can go with a panel if you want to make it bigger. Absolutely. So oh, Helen is one, uh, wondering if she missed the pattern for the make it uh, for the pay it forward month three. Uh, they are still available on the website, and we are making the um, the big heart cushions. So if you've had a mastectomy or a lumpectomy or anything like that, you pop it you pop it under your arm, and it, it just, just takes some your of the pressure, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. <coughs> so it's it's um from very close to my heart this month. Oh. And um, so we will be we will be making that. And, um, and any of you that want to send them in, because we had some beautiful blankets sent in as well. Yeah, it was really I popped nice. them on Gemma's desk, actually. Um, but anyone that wants to send them in, they will go to, there is a breast cancer unit in Brighton. Um, and again, for personal reasons, I will be supporting that. Lovely. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gemma's just come in with it. Took it. Go on then. Oh, the go. professionalism. There we go. So that's what it is. Jane, would you like to demonstrate exactly just how it goes works? underneath like that for a bit of support? And it yeah. just takes that pressure off. If you've got scar tissue here or you've had lymph nodes removed from under your arm, mm. having that underneath just takes the pressure off and prevents the rubbing when you're sitting. Or it gives that gap, doesn't it? Yeah, just takes it off and it's nice you and can soft. fit two cushions out of the fabric provided yes um what we've yet to decide is whether or not there's enough stuffing for two mm. i know this one didn't take as much stuffing as we thought it was yeah because we thought it was going to take two and eight hundred eight ounces didn't we? seven yeah. ounces seven ounces and our bags are eight ounces because yeah. they're 250 grams but actually we'd still got quite a bit left over when we'd stuffed this one so it might be but you can always you can always i mean top it's up. not it's not hard stuffed, it's soft, but it's firmly stuffed. It's firm enough that it takes the yeah. arm away and will hold it away. Yeah. But that's, um, yeah. So that's it's a the nice big, thing. The big a heart nice thing to have. surgery cushion. Lovely. Not heart surgery cushion. It's not for heart surgery. No, it's, for, it's a heart shape yeah. surgical. Yeah. All of that. 
So that's what we're making this month. In fact, we need to put that in the diary to actually do. Yes. Don't we? Yes, yes. that's the other thing. So I'm going to just demonstrate um, a way of just finishing off just your panel. So I've chosen the world map panel because we had a panel that wasn't um, cut straight. The first one on the bolt was a bit wobbly, so I've just trimmed it down um, to do. Now you could do you could do the bagging method, and the bagging method, and, and we've we've demonstrated this with advent calendars. So I'm not going to do too much demonstration with that. But basically, you'd have your panel with your wadding underneath. And then you place your backing fabric right sides together on top of your panel. And it would be the same size. Everything would be the same size. Because when you're doing a, um, a quilt with binding, you tend to have the, fab the, the backing and the wadding at least four inches wider than the actual quilt. Mm. To then quilt it, because sometimes that pulls it in, and then you trim it down, and then you bind it. If you're going to do a bag quilt, you have all three layers the same size and you will sew around three sides and you will leave a gap on one side wide enough to get your hand through. Yeah. So once you've got the gap and you've sewn round, so you'd sew, start here, sew all the way around the, the sides and then finish about there. Just enough to get your hand through. And then you'll just pull it through. Um, you might want to snip off your corners just to take some of the bulk away. Just pull that through and then smooth out the edges and then you can, you've got your quilt done and you'd sew up the gap and you would quilt it how you wanted to quilt it. And it doesn't need to be technically quilted, does it? You know, no. just take a look at whatever wadding you've used and just see sort of yeah. how far apart you can, wad, you can quilt with that. I would recommend R80 that we have here for children's quilts just because it's polyester wadding and it won't shrink. So the R80 so is made from recycled um, plastic bottles, so it's also helping the environment, which yeah. we like. Which we, we like, like a lot. A it lot. means it's not going into landfill, and that's a biggie for me. Now, this other method I'm going to show you is about doing your backing and bringing it forward to the front so that it self-binds. And I have cut the backing fabric half an inch wider than the wadding and the the panel right just so that i can then fold that forward i would pin it if it was any bigger than this size um quilt because i can get this all on my worktop um i'm going to do it without pinning it but if it was if i was at home i haven't got this much space i would pin it i would pin the three layers together mm. i really love the curved safety pins I've got them here. I've got a box open. We sell them here. We've got different sizes and we've got different amounts. But I love the curved safety pins. They're really easy to use to hold your layers together. Because they've got the curve on them, you can put them into your fabric and then you rock them back and they, they pop through and then you close them. So you don't have to move the layers. It really helps them, everything to come, come together, keeping it in the same, you know, without moving anything. So you can keep it flat on your worktop and pull, fix all your layers together. And usually about a palm's width apart, just to keep the layers in place. And then around it, the edge of your fabric. I've trimmed this panel down a little bit. I've just made sure that I got half an inch away from the Pacific Ocean part there and the submarine on this side because <laughs> I didn't want them to disappear into the binding. Um, just need to, I'm going to unpin this because I just need to move it again a little bit because it's come slightly off centre. But the curved safety pins are really great. You can tack your quilts layers together and again, you would start from the middle and work your way out to the edge. And always start from the middle, north, south, and then east, west, and then work in tram lines from the centre out when you're fixing yeah. your quilt top together. Now with this method, you just fold your... I need to come over this way a little bit. 
fold your binding over a quarter of an inch. You might have to just move that across a little bit so you can see it on the camera. Okay, this way. Thank you, Melissa. Fold it in quarter of an inch, and you might want to finger press it if you can, or take it to the iron, to the ironing board. Just take it in quarter of an inch, all the way around. It's not over the over the edge of the panel. It's coming up to the edge of the panel at this point. So I don't know if you can see that. I've just folded that so it's level with the edge of the panel. Yeah. It's not actually on the fabric. It's actually folded in on itself. And then we bring it over onto the edge of the panel. When we get to the corner here, we're going to we'll be able to mitre it. So you open out the corner. <coughs> You fold the corner into itself, so it's still on its own fabric, mm. and then you fold that back on itself again. I don't think I've ever seen this done before, Jane. Haven't you? No. It's one that, I mean, I haven't done it myself very often, but it's one I've seen done quite a few times, and it does give a lovely effect. So, folded them in. Sorry, I'm making a dog's dinner of this. Fold it over so it's on your quilt panel and then fold that onto itself so it gives you your mitered edge. Nice. If you find that too fiddly, there's nothing to stop you folding it over and folding that one over and making it square edged. It works equally as well. It's just a little bit more bulky. Mm. So I'm just going to take some time now and do this all the way around. And then you can pin it, pin your binding in place. I should have done three sides of this really beforehand, but it was just to show you how it all sits on the... Beautiful. On and the you quilt. can clip them or pin them. Yeah, it's absolutely. Where are clips? I don't know. Where's the hippo? Where's gone? the hippo? Have you left him at home? I don't know. Maybe. He needs to come and be here. I had to weigh him for postage <laughs> when we started. I don't know if we might still have a couple of hippos on the website, but everyone went a bit crazy for hippos. Well, he is Not a bit lie. lovely. He is a bit fabulous. But yeah, no, it was all a little bit hippotastic, if I'm honest. Now you can do your quilting on your panel first and then do this after you've done your quilting because it might have gone a bit wobbly and you might want to um, trim it back. But you could also do this and then do your quilting. It's Perfect. a bit like when you've bagged it. Oh, Diane says, just joined. I've missed watching your show. Lovely to hear your voices. Oh, well, it's nice to be back. And Moira says, I'm thinking it will help me also. Hmm, got scar tissue on the side where the, uh, she had a tube in her lung. Sometimes lying on that side is very uncomfortable. Um, obviously, she's not talking about this blanket. She's no. talking about the heart, the heart, the heart cushion. cushion. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it'll probably help quite a few people that have got scarring for one reason or another. Yes, please. Thank you. Sorry, oh, thanks, I was Jim. miles away then. Certainly make things easier. Thanks, Jen. So yeah, your quilt clips that we have will make life lots easier. Have we still got any of those in a? We had some in a we nice had pretty tins, really didn't we? really beautiful mandala tins. Did we? Oh, nice. Oh, good. All right. That's the plan. So yeah, I've folded that in quarter of an inch. I don't think I'm even on camera now. There we go. <laughs> Got so far down. Quarter of an inch in either side because I'd like to mitre it. I'm folding that over. It's a bit like when you make a parcel and then folding that down, keeping them in place. and then folding it the opposite way on the other side so it forms a mitre. You might have to just twiddle it slightly to get it to lie square. Lo and Ali are thinking that they might just cut it a little bit bigger. Yeah. 
you cut it an inch bigger and you've got more you've got more to play with twiddling room yeah the thing is i cut this fabric from the width of fabric so i didn't give myself any extra because i was being economical with natasha's fabric if you order, oh, if you, Jane. If you order a piece, I suggest you order a whole meter piece, and then you can take it along the length, and you will have the extra. Right. Okay. The extra. Now, fabric. you see, Cass has just tuned in. She says, "I've been wanting Jane to do a binding episode for ages." Um, now it came on a day that I have to adult too much and no brain to soak up her wisdom. Cass, look, this isn't a whole binding show. This no. Is, this is different and method. This is just panel binding. When we get to December and we're putting the block of the month quilt together, I will do a bit more of an in-depth binding demonstration then because it all goes together with quilting it and putting it together. Yeah. This is just a, a slightly quicker, I say that, Probably isn't any quicker, really. Wait, this feels more manageable, though. In a way, I quite. I, I think quite it like is this. for small projects. I think if you tried to do a full size quilt this way, oh, you might lose the You might end up wearing it round your ears and need to have some volume afterwards. Um, or gin. Yeah, I mean, both work, right? Both work. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But yeah, it's um, it is a, a quick, a quick way of, of getting a quilt bound taking it from the back forward that's just folded over twice don't want to do that but as I say you can just do it square so fold it over square fold that side over don't think I'm on camera again <laughs> it's on you we're learning Jane. we're learning we are we'll get there and then fold it over there so I just folded it over onto itself quarter of an inch pulled that over the fabric so it's sitting on top of the fabric fold that over there quarter of an inch onto itself and then bring that over the fabric and you've got a square edge then not a mitered edge which is slightly easier to manipulate it's just quite bulky when you come to sew over it and of course you can add you can make your border wider so you could add more wadding to the side of your panel and bring more have more fabric overhang and bring that over so you yeah. could make a wider border oh lovely yeah <clears throat> yeah of course it um it, it depends on what you'd like to have and as i said i was being economical with the fabric that we've got here because i didn't want to use it when well, we can sell it this is um some of the Makawa linen effect. So I chose that because it, again, it's the same red that's within the, because it's Makawa and it's a Makawa's panel. Mm. It's the same red that's within the um, quilt. Right, yes, of course, of course, of course. Same manufacturer, same print sets, uh, ink printing. get the rest of this on. I'm sorry this isn't a particularly interesting demonstration is it really but it's what we need to know yeah it's a it's a nice it's a nice way of finishing a quilt I think it's um it pulls it together nicely and if you've got nice backing fabric that you want to bring to the front it's also a nice a nice way of showcasing the back fabric as well yeah sure Especially when you found one of the matches. Happy days. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not actually on camera again, I've just realised. <laughs> <laughs> Busily turning and, and turning again. And you can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Just clipping it, holding it in place. So turn it over onto itself quarter of an inch and then turn <coughs> the other quarter of an inch over. Trying to keep it straight and flat. And around we go. And we just keep going round until we've got it all clipped. And then we would sew, I will sew it. I've just realised I've got neutral thread on my machine when I could have done with having red and I don't think we've got any red in there. Because I think your, fab your thread box is still at the 
No, but I tell you what I had on my machine. Got a variegated one. I've got a blue, uh, red, white, and blue variegated. Well, that might look quite nice, wouldn't it? Because of course you can you can also um, you know use a fancy embroidery stitch if you wanted to to add a little bit of texture well, waves or something. Yeah, or anything that you wanted to do really um, to add a bit of texture. I would recommend taking it to your ironing board and pressing it a quarter of an inch in before you then take it to take it over, you know, to bring it over because it just... And where do you stitch? Because we don't have to stitch it until we've got the right thread. It seems a shame to... I will stitch it just on... Well, I can, I can just demonstrate um, where I will stitch just so that we've got it started. Yeah, okay. Well, um, then, in that case, a pretty much thread will show up a treat, yes, won't it, Yes, it will show you exactly yes. where it is, and then we can unpick it and do it with red. Take that mitre. Oh, I'm just going to pin that in place because there's so many bits to, to, to pin. Doesn't it frame it nicely? And I actually, think so. It, it does look like one, because maps often have thin frames, don't they? Yes. Well, it's just sort of like, it's highlighting it, isn't it, yeah. really, rather than taking over and destructing nice. from it. You'll, you'll still need to have your walking foot to sew it down. Um, that's okay, we can do that. Oh, oh, that's fine. And that one will come, I'll just redo this corner. So we pull that across. Let's go and show that we're doing it. Going across, and as I say, it's a bit like when you do a parcel. So you bring the corners in, and then you bring the edges into that. So it forms a mitre. Nice. Quite fiddly. There we go. Beautiful. We'll put a clip in that bit there just to hold that down and I'm going to put a clip in this side as well. And if I take this to the machine now, <coughs> I am just going to, if I show you close up, first of all, I will sew it just so it, it's just on the inside edge of that, that side there against that fold. So, oops, sorry, heart, move you down. Yeah. I'm just going to bring the, oh, the walking foot is on, that's good. I'm just going to take my stitch length up slightly so we can see it. Put my new glasses on. Oh, new glasses? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You had an incident, didn't I you? I did. And just, as I say, just sewing that just on the inside. close to the fold on the binding. Just taking your time. Oops, got a bit wobbly there. Which will show beautifully with the contrasting <laughs> the fabric. contrast thread. <laughs> Stop there, and then I can, you can you can you can go, <laughs> and you can see <laughs> the wobbly bit. So that's <laughs> as close to the edge as you would uh, as I would do it. If you go close up on that, hasn't moved on my. Oh, sorry, hasn't moved. Oh, do you know what? There Have we go. Has no one seen any of the stitching? Probably not. Did it not switch across? Oh, I'm Remember. sorry. I'm I wasn't so looking. sorry, everyone. So you just got to look at some um, at the the Indian Ocean. Map. <laughs> so. I don't, I, I can't see it, but you can see then that pulls it over and I'm, I've stitched quite close to the edge of that fold and that's bound it and it's got it on the back at the same time. So it, it's, it's all there and done. Now I would probably do a cross hatch just on this. I might, if I was feeling adventurous, 
free motion around the edge of the the um I said not switching go on um sorry cross the mat there we with are. the quilting but I think I would just do a wide cross hatch to give it a quilted effect um, you might want to do a bit of free motion quilting on there around the animals. You, you've I got want, so much. I, what I would be doing, you know, how on making maps, waves. When, I mean, I do that generally, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but around the you, when we used to do maps in geography, um, I hated geography by the way. I was really rubbish at it. But I used to like more drawing the maps, and and I would ombre yeah. <laughs> from the from the sea out Outwards. into a dark colour. So I would be um, I'd be getting my free motion, and I'd be get my free motion on, and just taking it just like an inch Charlie. away or even yes. half an inch away from the outside and, and going around it. all the countries. You can e you could even do like lines that were like a wave shape. Oh yeah. On there. Um I think on, on the NX there is a wavy line that you can use in your quilting. Oh there's all sorts. That gives a, a wider a wider one. Yeah, three nine four. So you could do that. You could do wavy lines going through. Or just a straightforward sewing in line, parallel lines one way and then the other way. Or you could just do stripy lines. And you don't have to do them close together. You could do them quite wide, so they don't distract from the um, so they don't distract from the quilt. So quite wide apart. I wanted to do a little bit about um, hand quilting because I've um, around the animals on my quilt. I've machine quilted around the squares and around these squares here and the sh and inside and outside those borders. I machine quilted around the sun and I echoed free motion around the clouds and around the tree with my machine. But I was looking at the panels and I thought it would be really nice. <gasps> oh Gemma you're a star. Oh thanks Gem. Nice. Um, around the animals to have hand quilting because hand quilting is like a running stitch so it's quite naive yeah perfect that's going to work and I think I thought it would look really nice so I'm now going to unpin the quilt which might end in a disaster because we might bring positive thinking positive thinking can you reach though because I, I think it I up. can just stand on my tippy toes but I finished the other quilt the Joe uh, Joe Jane <laughs> Got the beauty. I saw the picture of it. It's stunning. Well, I saw it in progress yesterday, and I was like, oh my And you've walked past it about ten times in the hall. Yeah, it's lovely, absolutely stunning. So um, I love it. I love them. So I have used four. I'm going to pop this out of the way. I'm going to get that finished because I think Sir Frederick of Berkswell will love that. Sir Frederick will certainly of Berkswell love that. Um, Gem, there's a there's a map there. She's done a tea run because we she's love her. We love her. She's a beautiful person. Um, so hand quilting. I have done. Um, it's not going to win any good competitions. Should we go close up on this? Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not going to win any competitions, but it's not for a competition. What competition were you entering with it? Exactly. Um, some people might class it as big stitch. It's a running stitch. I've done it in grey embroidery thread. Nice. We have got how many how many threads? Um, I one because it's quite thick, so one thread. Um, and I have used a size nine embroidery needle. So I just wanted to show you. I put my needle in this somewhere because I was in the middle. I bet it's come out because I was. That'll teach me. Oh, I know where I put it. Oh, no, we've all stabbed ourselves on that needle, Jane. I know. I kept saying to everybody, <laughs> we've all been admiring it, and every time Jane's gone, careful, careful there's a careful. needle in it. <laughs> and we've all gone, ow! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I found it. I actually moved it out and put it in my <laughs> skein of thread. Excuse the state of my skein of thread. We can't even blame the kittens anymore, can no, we? No, that's just me. It's just me. Um, I pulled the wrong end. Do you know what it's like? You pull one end and it, it doesn't move and then you pull the other one and it just goes into a robbly ball in the middle. So it's six, the six threads aren't there on a, on a skein. I don't cut a particularly long length, about the length from your finger to your elbow because otherwise it just twists up. Um, we've got all sorts of things here. The, the thread magic 
we've got the thread magic that um, I coats love that your stuff. thread. Mm. And this one's got the, the one for hand and the one that you can put on your machine. So you can pop it on the edge of your machine so that the, the thread runs through it as you're sewing. Do you know, you can. It will sound slightly different when you do. So don't yeah. panic. Um, it just will sound slightly different. For me, what I do, that little square yeah. for my EPP kit that yeah, I've got, really I just nice I've it, use that. And when I hand sewed Emily's EPP quilt while I was pregnant with her, every single strand of thread was, um, I used that stuff for, that thread magic. Just love it. Absolutely love it. So we've got a pack with two squares in. We've got the pack with the, the little pot that sits, you can have in your hand sewing and the one that sits on your machine, or we've got just the little pot <coughs> on its own. They're really good. They coat your thread and prevent tangling. We've got all sorts of needles that we have. We've got the very tiny, fine quilt needles, the quilting needles. They're quite nice gold tip ones from the Hemline Gold Collection. We've got the embroidery ones, the hand needles there, embroidery cruel ones, and they've got a selection of sizes from five to nine, uh, five, three, blah, 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 three, <laughs> five, seven, and nine in there. I'm trying to read it upside down. And then we've got the clover ones, the gold eye embroidery needles, and they go from three to nine. The smaller the number, the bigger the needle. It's not the threads are the opposite way round. The smaller the number, the finer, the, the, the thicker the thread. Um, so I like an embroidery nine. This one is, um, I think it's a John James one actually, if everybody had their own. Can you just go a little bit more in shot? There we go. There Beautiful. we go. Thank you, my love. Um, I've put a knot in my thread, just a single um, knot. I'm just going to snip the, the tail of that off. Now I go in from the front and I'm going into my fabric um, and maybe a little bit into the wadding but obviously not into the back of it and I'm coming out where I want to start um, sewing. I'm just going to give that a tug and it pops and as soon as it pops I stop pulling. So I don't pull it all the way through to where I'm going to start. It's that, it. that knot is now somewhere around there. And it really is, you can put this into an embroidery hoop. If you have it in an embroidery hoop, don't have it tight, have it just slightly loose. So it's yeah. got a bit of a sag to it. Um, but I like to do it by just by holding it um, and keeping it tight. Now we've got lots of, we've got thimbles as well. We've got the hemline gold thimbles. And if you were going to wear a thimble, you'd wear one on your middle finger on, on, the, on your right hand or the hand you sew it with and one on your middle finger on your other hand. We've also got the... Um, oh, these are my favourite. The needle grip it. They're yeah, really handy. Yeah, especially if you're going through lots of layers. Lots of layers. But these ones... Um, they sit on your <coughs> finger. So um, I don't wear a thimble because it makes me feel quite claustrophobic, which is a bit weird. And Barbara Cheney, who's an expert hand quilter, told me that I should just walk around with the thimbles on my hands all the time until I got used to them. What? Really? But hey, I've got quite, yeah, I've got quite <laughs> hard, I've got quite hard pads on my fingers naturally now, so I'm quite okay with it. Um, um, but I these are great because they just sit on and they've got the little cap, so they sit on your finger, so they're you've just there. You've got two choices there, Jane. So you've got the ultra thimble there, which has got the metal cap, yeah. and you position it exactly where. So what I would suggest from many, many years' experience with these is to do a little bit of stitching, and as soon as you start to feel it on your finger, that's yeah. where you place it. That's right. So that's with the, the metal one. Then in the middle one, and this one wouldn't be suitable for you because you're veggie, um, they are like suede ones, yeah, but they, they re-stick and I always just stick it either on my EPP packet, uh, pouch or on the edge of my sewing machine so yeah. I know where I've always got it. And then really that third handy. packet that you've got that's just catching the light um, is replacement um, adhesives. For this so, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. it goes Lovely. with that one. And then the grip it's just help get, you know how some, we've, yeah, all, just we've all done it where you've had to try and grab it through with your teeth. Yes. Or a pair of pliers or something because you've just been a bit over adventurous. The grip it really helps. So um, you know, if dexterity is an issue, maybe look at getting some of those. Yeah, they're really handy. Um, and then we've got we've got the Prim Love ones. That's a needle twist with a magnet. So that's a really handy place to keep your needles <coughs> all together. 
And it's got a little at the bottom. pin cushion at the base where yeah. you stick them into. And then as you uh, twizzle it around, they da-da. Pop them and then like you that. twizzle them back in again. So great as well if you're if you're yeah, going off to workshops or anything e like that. EPP yeah. pouch. Yeah. There's also the um, pendant cutter, which I find is really good, particularly if you're, um, you know, doing your EPP, sitting in the car waiting for the children while they're swimming or whatever. Um, and you can take this onto an aeroplane as well. The so it will thing cut your threads for you without actually physically having scissors, which they don't like you to have on an aeroplane. They do not. You are quite correct. And as we, we're all starting to travel again now, that would be a really handy gadget to have. And also, I don't know about you, but I when I EPP, I used to EPP on the sofa for hours on end when I was pregnant with Ems, just watching whatever. Yes. Um, invariably, the cat would sit on my lap or something, and my scissors would end up just slipping somewhere. Yeah, going and between that's the not cushions ideal you either. Find but if you've got that pendant and you can just put it on some ribbon around your neck, a, you always know where it is. B, you're not going to lie on it by accident or forget or have it slip down the side of the sofa or whatever. Yeah. They're just a really easy, safe thing to have. Yeah, absolutely. So once we've treated our thread and we've got the right um, needles, thimbles and everything on our fingers, it's just a case of holding your fabric taut. And I've got my, my fingers underneath and I'm going to do a running, literally a running stitch. So I put my needle in, making sure it's going through three layers and I can feel that needle now, it's on my finger. And then I rock it back and I'll go in again. And I try and keep the same distance with my needle as the gap that I come rocking back with. I don't know if we take this up to the sewing machine whether you'll get a better picture of the... I don't know if we can see that. light catches it trying to work it out whether it would give it a getting the camera angle right isn't it there we go I think you might just be able to see that now you can see the needles in there I've rocked it backwards and forwards I've got about three or four stitches on there so once I've got that in I just push my needle through and then pull my thread and then I'll go again. So I'm, I'm doing about three or four stitches, probably three with this needle. And the smaller your needle, the less stitches you make. And you don't want great big stitches, but you don't have to do minuscule tiny ones either, particularly with the embroidery thread. I think it looks quite nice with slightly bigger stitches and just pulling that through. So I'm going to pretend now that I've finished and I've got to where I want to end and I'm going to show you how to finish off. Because if you remember, we just pop that um, knot through and then we started sewing. So I'm going to take my thread to the back of my quilt and you can see my stitch is not on the back. Again, it's not necessarily even and it's not going to really win any competitions but you know it's still it's it still there matter. and it this looks is made by it looks love. yeah and it looks tidy it's it's not great big stitches or anything like that so i bring my thread forward and then i'm going to knot it just like doing a french knot really but not at the end not against not right against the fabric if that right. makes sense that's mm -hmm. probably a little bit too far away but my knot's there and again i'm going to take it into the back of my fabric along and come out somewhere where I'm not stitching and then just pop it. I don't know if you could hear that, but it pops and you pull it through and that knot now is about there in my fabric. So I'll just give that a little bit of a pull and snip it as close to the edge of the fabric as I can. So the knot is there on, on the finish line and probably around about there at the beginning. But you're not going to see it because it's in the wadding. Yeah. But it's all neat and tidy and hidden away. Ali's got a great tip. She said one little tip that I've learned is to use my banana pins, uh, so her, her curved quilting pins, yeah. um, around each area that I'm sewing so the backing doesn't start to creep away. That's yes, a really that's good That's a really one, good trip. It? Having it in um, an embroidery hoop. I know a lot of people like to have it in an in, in embroidery hoop and you just have it in the area that you're working on. But as I say, you don't have it drum tight, you just have it slightly looser. And you can get all sorts of um, quilt frames, 
you know you can get square ones that are a little bit like plumbing um things that go yeah. together and make frames and you can get the the one on the stand that um helen uses yes that would be a nice one to have you know when you for your quilting as well so that's just a little bit of hand uh, on hand quilting because Brilliant. you can because you can and yes. that's just it isn't it and it's you know you can do as much or as little on this it didn't need to have the animals quilted around it was perfectly fine with the machine quilting just around the frames but I just felt it just added a little bit more to it and we've got the grey my grey is slightly darker but the grey that we have would work just as well this Let's is the O3 that, we? the MC03 that will work just as well on this on this quilt Perfect. and again you can do as much or as little as you want to you could go around the leaves you could do a bit on the on the on the bark of the of the of the tree you could do the birds at the top there you can just keep going and of course with embroidery thread you can change it to the colors so if you wanted to go around the rainbow that's on this bit here you could do lines within the rainbow matching the colors of the rainbow that are there Beautiful. so yeah you it's just this is a nice <coughs> sized project to have a go on because it's not overwhelming and you've got lines to follow yeah 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 that's just it isn't it and it it kind of because of the naivety of the design it doesn't matter if you go over the over yeah. the line or anything like that's that. that's right and also it doesn't matter too much about how even your stitching is no. i think a lot of people get worried about the evenness but this is a good practice piece and the more you do it it's like anything with any of the quilting the more you do it the more you get into the rhythm of it and your stitching will get more even mm. so it's it's a nice it's a nice project to have a go on with your hand quilting if you want to you don't oh, have to jane so thank go. you very much um what else have we got coming up so that um that's us off air now for the rest of the week yes um and we're going to be frantically cutting all of your fabric fabulous fabrics yes. yes yes so well done for everyone that has made good use of the sale we're starting now to take everything that it's a long process so if you're quick you might still pick up a few bargains, but we are now starting to take those down. But we do them manually off our site. So, yeah. you know, if you are quick, there are still some bargains to be had Lovely. for sure. Um, we are going to set to work with that O-Deal. I say we, I am. I'm getting totally stuck in with that. Um, with the O-Deal. But can you just do me a favour, uh, you lovely lot, and let me know, do you want this by the half meat? Like, how do you want it? Do you want me to cut it up into kits? Do you want it to buy by that? Like, how do you want it? Do you want it by the half meter? How do you want that beautiful, beautiful velvet? It's not cheap. No, I'm it's just, not going to be. It's velvet fabric for a start and it's O'Deal. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But I just want to warn people because, you know, that we're, we're talking upholstery, upholstery fabric, yes. upholstery velvet. Yeah. Um, but how would you like it? Oh, and Elizabeth wants to know how you're finding the new set, Jane. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Once I get used to the camera angles, well, I think we'll be a lot. Okay, we all need to get used to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely. Um, so, yeah, if you can just drop me a few a few comments underneath as to how you want that uh, velvet, and then we can start to put that show together. So much work goes into all these shows. Yes. You know, every single one, mm -hmm. from kitting it, photographing it, uploading it it's a proper team effort it to really get a show is, yeah, up absolutely. and together um they're not just bish bash boshed no nope, there's um, a lot of thought goes into them yeah 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 um so that's all good oh there we go the velvet fabric i bought for my moho was 54 pounds per meter yeah you see it's yeah it's going to be comparable it's, it's, yeah it's not going to be much different from that, is it, really? But, but it's gorgeous. You might and you want it. Meter. Yeah, you just need it in your life. You do. <laughs> it's you just do, gorgeous. You do. Um, Valerie says, yes, read the batiks. Hang on. Yep, yeah, yeah. So I think we, we now know that everybody wants the batiks up yeah. by the half meter. That's absolutely fine. And then just let me know how you want this velvet. Um, and we'll sort that out Lovely. as well. Got to keep up an eye out for the Friday newsletter. Yeah, we've got some some goodies in there this week nice. as well nice 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 um yeah so as ever stay safe thank you very much um oh hang on got my pay it forward oh fabulous fabulous fabric half meters of velvet fabric please okay all right okay 
perfect. Maybe I'll do a mixture of all sorts. Yeah. Nice. Fabulous. Jane, thank you so much as ever. You're a superstar. Thank you. Um, thank you everyone at home for watching. And yeah, any more, any more comments, re how you want velvet, let me know and I will speak to you all. Speak to you all. See you all. Monday. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.